live across to India Gate, where protests continue. Preeti Choudhury joins me live. Well, thank you, Shivan. You can make out by the tempo at India Gate. There is a clarion call today, which is to come to India Gate if you are in support of the 23-year-old girl who is hanging by a thread at Safdar Jung, fighting for her life stripped of dignity. Come to India Gate is the clarion call shift today if the citizens of this city want to safeguard their own, sit own sa safety, the safety of its women. Shiv, if I can ask my camera person, Ritesh, to give you a perspective, a 360 degree view of what we are witnessing at India Gate. I don't think, Shiv, that in my journalistic time or even yours, we have seen crowds such as this gather en masse, gather en masse at one place protesting harassment of women saying very clearly that women in this city are not safe. We are going to be going across to a few people here. Now, there are student bodies across five uh, schools who have come together, five universities who have come together. Majority are the ones who have come in from JNU. Remind you, Shiv, these were the people who were beaten today morning, beaten when they were going to present a memorandum to the chief minister of the state. They were rained lattes on water cannon was also sprayed on them those kids are here now and now in number shift numbers are talking let's go across and talk to a few people here today hi can you can you tell me in the morning you guys were rained lattes on there were, you guys were rained lattes on there was water cannon being used for you why do you think it's happening at one point there are these politicians who are going on making one speech after the other and you, all you guys were doing was going across and putting a memorandum to the chief minister. Why do you think that happened? Well, the Delhi police has been on the defensive till yesterday because the, at Chakka Jam also they allowed us to protest peacefully. But now they have become aggressive and, you know, now they, I mean, till, till recently they realized that they were at fault. But now they have started to react with aggression. So this is what is happening. So what's the clarion call? It's come to India Gate today, is it? Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's why we're here, because, I mean, now that the Delhi police is getting aggressive on us, this is the time to fight. So. I understand. What, what do you, for all the girls who are watching this in this city, what's your clarion call? What do you, what do you want to say to them? All the girls who are watching this, um, okay. all the girls who are watching this, um, the, uh, all this increasing instances of rapes. I don't think so. We need to listen to the patriarchal diktats of the government, of the panchayats, of uh, of uh, uh, the so-called protectors of women's rights like NCW. We we need to assert ourselves. We need to assert ourselves against the patriarchal assertion. Thank you, there. We're going to cut across. If you can see, I'll ask Ritesh, my camera person, to actually show you what's happening here, Shiv. This is now taken a completely different turn. What we are witnessing here are crowds, not less than at least 2,000 people. They're all surrounded here. There are various kits being organized at one end. Multiple universities have got together after what happened today, Shiv. 2 p.m. was when aggression was used on these young boys and girls and now numbers are talking. People have come out en masse. There you have it. And one big cry here is capital punishment. Sushil Kumar Shinde on the floor of the house said that there will be various, uh, the law will be strengthened but there is no capital punishment. That's what this girl is demanding today. You want capital punishment for the perpetrators? Absolutely. She's going to die every single day of her life. Every single day. Only capital punishment should be done. Every single day she died. As a, as, as a girl who is in a part of this city, what do you feel today? Do you think it's a day of reckoning? If I have fear, even men should have fear before raping. What is your clarion call today? What do you have to say to the people of the administration of this city? Please wake up because it is not about only one day that is happening. We cannot come out. It is about each day. Alright, as you can see there, you know, I've, I've, Shiv, I've lost my camera person in this melee because what's happening here is there are crowds that can't, there are there crowds that uh, we can't even put a number on, Shiv. That's what's happening here. If you can just see this madness, 
but there is a means to it, Shiv. And for the first time, it is, if I may quote this gentleman right here, it is Jawab Do. Answer us. Jawab Do. Answer us is what everybody here is saying. Over to the studio, Shiv. We're going to come back to you in exactly a minute. Thanks, Preeti, for getting us that very, uh, you know, that really first-hand, on-the-ground look at what it's like to be at India Gate right now. The flagging call, uh, as, you, as you put it, is very, very clear. The people are sick of taking the answers, the cliched answers being put out by the administration, both at the state and the center. The Delhi police, as one of those ladies called it, the patriarchal diktats, if you will, of the establishment itself. We saw a violent crackdown outside the Delhi chief minister's residence as well. But like we've been saying here on Headlines today over the last 48 hours, this outrage isn't confined to the national capital. At one, on the one hand, perhaps at one stage, this is a story that has reached the kind of crescendo that it has because it happened in the national capital. But I can assure you that the outrage is national. It's nationwide. Indians across the country and across the world are expressing outrage. I'm joined right now by my colleagues. Headlines today's Vidya from Mumbai, Aditi from Delhi and Pratibha Raman from Bangalore. Uh, Vidya, I'd like to come to you first and then I'm going to go across to Pratibha in Bangalore and Aditi in Delhi. Vidya, you know, we've been speaking to our Mumbai reporters over the last couple of days. Delhi and Mumbai have never, you know, felt closer they are two very different cities, but on this particular case, there is a scary commonality. Well, it certainly is. Delhi, this particular crime that has happened, it's something that's shaken people in Mumbai as well. The horrifying incident that happened in Delhi is something that has woken up people here as well. Let's speak to some of these people around who are... Uh, Ma'am... Uh, you have been fighting for a lot of these people who uh, who have been raped and uh, you know who find it difficult to even register their case. What really is the apathy that you face when you uh, are going to actually register a case in Mumbai? Uh, basically, I feel that police is absolutely indifferent to such cases. They don't even want to register the cases for two things. One is they want to show that everything is all right in our area. Secondly, they do not want to have extra burden on them. Mm -hmm. Right now, as my colleague was saying, that police are so very busy in Bandobas and other things that they are so very tired that the real crime, what is happening, mm -hmm. they are not interested in registering. So, women are suffering so much. We are running a women uh, grievance redressal cells from uh, police stations. There are so many cases, right from simple that the fight between the mother-in-law mm -hmm. and the uh, daughter-in-law to rape cases. Police are absolutely not interested in entertaining women. So where they should go? Well, that's one thing. Police apathy is what hurts people in Mumbai maximum. In fact, let me speak to uh, Mr. Chetan Kotari here. He actually has fa taken out an RTI, which is very shocking indeed. The fact that the most, more than 50% of um, uh, policemen in Mumbai are actually busy protecting the VVIPs. Let's speak to him exactly. So, so what's really the RTI that you filed for? What was the information you asked for and what did you get? RTI में से जो details मिली है, जो छः साल की details है, more than from 2007 to 2012, तो इसमें ये 2012 का जो data बता रहा है, day by police force increasing in the VIPs duties and give the protection, 2012's data is showing approximately 28,000 420 police force busy with the security uh, for the VIPs and that and is out of 46,000 that are actually yeah. the strength of Mumbai yeah well, it means more than it is a 60 percent police force busy with the uh, police uh, that VIPs duties mm -hmm. so I don't think so okay, they are unable to give the protection to the uh, uh, our Mumbai civ civilian well that's certainly the uh, case you know here you hear it I mean there's apathy there's not even people that's the reason why you don't really find Mumbai police on the road. Let me speak to your senior journalist here. Sir, Mumbai police is not even on the road. As you hear uh, Avisha say, this is apathy. How do you deal with the system? How does Mumbai really deal with it? The biggest problem is rampant corruption in the Mumbai police. Only if there is money to be made, the police register an offense. Otherwise, Mumbai police does get in time. Never have seen in the history of Mumbai, the police have been so corrupt. Unbelievably, the, the range of corruption is, is massive. A, 
and b other important thing is which happen is that the police commissioner's power to post and, and transfer his uh, subordinates that power has been removed from him it has been kept with the home department so if satyapal singh the mumbai police commissioner wants to transfer the havaldar from azad maidan police station to eltimark police station he cannot do that we want to uh, uh, remove a, a sub inspector who's corrupt or is not doing his job honestly to a side posting he cannot do that the file has got to go to the uh, 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 mantralay the home department these are the twin problems of corruption and lack of autonomy which is just completely ruined uh, mumbai police they frustrated the incident happened outside dadar station very busy station central station 8:30 in the morning a, a woman is hacked with a sickle can there be a bigger indictment of of mumbai and its police lack of security uh, a few years back a woman she was burnt alive outside bombay central station at 9:30 in the morning a man who was talking her poured kerosene over her set her on fire and not one person and this comes to brings us to the third aspect is that the, the apathy the indifference of the people of mumbai to other suffering other uh, needs it is unbelievable and uh, you, you okay. have the case of this man who murdered his wife for one month kept the dead body in his house the society people claim that they did not know about it this is biggest problem in mumbai it's just not the apathy from uh, the mumbai police but also among the mumbai cast itself that the apathy lies and that's the re biggest reason for pe people really suffering in mumbai well it's a it's a it's a it's a story that has nationwide impulses nationwide response people are angry right across the country and what we're doing here on headlines today is giving voice to our viewers as well we've got a caller already we've got numbers flashing on the bottom of your screen you can call that number we'd like to put your voice on air renu from bangalore is on the phone line with me renu what's on your mind well three days three days of outrage and anger over the gory delhi gang rape has culminated on india streets our women mps today took to protest through placards staging demonstrations in the capital and doing what they do best women mps agitating giving sound bites making all the right noises but what's different about their protest this time over nothing platitudes and politics has erupted over this raging issue mere activism will not change the state of delhi or the country there are solutions there are always there are ways to resolve this issue but the start has to be made with changes in legislations what we know for a fact and have been proven by the facts that are out there the allegiances that many of these mps actually owe is that there is a hypocrisy in what we're seeing on delhi streets by the members of parliament many of whom don't follow what they preach as far as their own colleagues and their own parties are concerned they've never spoken up before many of these mps not all but many of them about the people in their very own parties and this can only happen when these women mps channelize their energies into productively making india a safer place to live in because that's what the nation wants them for not for photo activism the minister has become very efficient in just giving statements and not taking any action we were extremely shocked that sonia gandhi out of all the people is demanding action though she is the chairperson of the upa which is led by the congress party and is governing the country so my request to everybody is to stop grandstanding on this particular issue and actually do preventive measures on the ground to ensure that women are not raped on the streets of delhi or for that matter in any part of the country i think the government of india should and especially the government of delhi should really give him all the support that he requires kyunki ye akele inke inse sara kuch nipatna bahut mushkil ho jayega thodi bahut madad home minister ne dene dene ka vaada inse kiya hai aur aapke madhyam se main sarkar ko request karti hu ki police force ko aur commissioner sahab ko bilkul zyada madad kare inko jo bhi tak मदद चाहिए वो करें डोंट थिंक एट इज एट एज अ पोलिटिकल इट्स अ सोशल इट्स अ सोशल इवेल ये देश की पूरी समस्या है महिलाएं सारी इस बात के लिए मैंने कहा मेरा मंत्रालय इसको दो तीन महीने के अंदर अंदर सजा मिले ये तय कर दिया है और मैं खुद इस बात के लिए बहुत दुखी हूँ पुलिस इज प्रोएक्टिव वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न टू दी होम मिनिस्टर वी देयर लॉज आर देयर एक्ट आर देयर बट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन वेयर इज लैक ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटेशन वी आर सींग What's sad is that it has taken this disturbing incident to wake up the police 
as well as the government to really know how unsafe the country is for women. While politicians from different parties visited the Saptajan hospital where the gang rape victim remains critical is being treated, politicians protest both in the house as well as outside. Ironically, more against the government than the laws. The Home Minister's plan of action has failed to set a tough example to curb the existing brutality towards women in the country. Here's a clear example of how politics is raging over a rape that should shake the conscience of the system. मुझे अभी बहुत हैरानी हुई जब मैंने टीवी पे सुना कि सोनिया डिमांड्स इमीडिएट एक्शन सोनिया जी की भूमिका एक्शन डिमांड करने की नहीं है एक्शन करने की है उनकी अपनी सरकार है होना ये चाहिए सुषमा डिमांड्स इमीडिएट एक्शन सोनिया प्रॉमिसेस इमीडिएट एक्शन इसलिए हम तो ये आशा लगाए हुए थे कि वो एक्शन प्रॉमिस करेंगी अब तक कोई ना कोई एक्शन हो गया होगा दिल्ली पुलिस फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट पर इस केस को डाले और जल्दी से जल्दी इस केस का फैसला होकर के इन बलात्कारियों को फांसी हो पिछले दो दिनों से जो हमने देखा है कि बातें बहुत हो गई हैं, सब बातें कर रहे हैं लेकिन ये मौका है कि बातों की जगह एक्शन की जरूरत है और एक्शन ऐसी डिसाइसिव और ऐसी फोर्सफुल होनी चाहिए जिससे एक संदेश हिंदुस्तान की औरतों को ही नहीं लेकिन सबसे जरूरी जो लॉ मेकर होता है जो लॉ की रखवाली करता है पुलिस को एक संदेश जाए कि जब एक औरत आपको कोई कंप्लेंट करे आप उस कंप्लेंट को कोई हल्का फुल्का कंप्लेंट समझ के वो औरत की बेजती करके उसको ना भेजे लेकिन आपकी आंसरेबिलिटी होगी कि जो भी आपको कम्प्लेंट आपने उसके ऊपर एक्शन क्या लिया आई पर्सनली फील देर आर समून इन द लॉ एज इट स्टैंड टूडे This is the, because otherwise, how could the same person who has gone to jail for committing rape be accused of the same crime two years later? And I know of such cases. I've read about them, and I know where they took place. So that means there is something which allows these people to get off and doesn't give them punishment more than a few weeks in jail, and then they are free individuals. Otherwise, how could you commit the heinous crime? At, Well, here's why we appeal to these women MPs to end their speech bazi and help facilitate laws in the country. Remember that there are some MPs doing real good work, putting down real policies, but there are others who are indulging in mere double speak. It has become routine for our MPs to resort to placard activism after every shocker. What's shameful is that even this rape. has now been politicized by our MPs to score public political points this was very evident from the protests themselves where even a gang rape is disturbing and gory as this failed to unite women MPs from different political parties the question we're asking is what has even one of these MPs done to pass tougher laws in parliament or even assure facilitating the passage for laws in parliament within a given time frame they've successfully stalled parliament over the issue of FDI and quotas but when in the past have they stalled parliament over life and death issues it's also interesting that none of these MPs or at least most of these MPs have for the larger betterment and safety of women in our society even volunteered to give up VIP security that they are otherwise entitled to I want to bring in Pratibha Raman from Bangalore who's with me live Pratibha like we've been saying here at headlines today this is a national issue the outrage that indians feel today spans right across the country we've seen violent crackdowns here in delhi what are you seeing in bangalore well shit so far southern india was considered really safer when compared to northern india but uh, of late it's not been the case because there are several incidents of rape that has been reported in the past couple of weeks in fact even me as uh, uh, a journalist have covered several incidents of rape and many of these girls who are with me say that it's it's uh, this is not the time to make just uh, uh, empty speeches but it is a time for action and i have with you one such girl I've, i'm sure you would agree with me it's not a time to just make speeches but it's a time to take some action what do you have to say to this well uh, if making speeches at a very rural level or when people are actually trying to listen to you um, has any kind of effect then well and good but 
if it doesn't reflect it in your bills then i don't think making speeches is not is going to help maybe the country loves watching jaya bachchan saying something shishma swat saying something reflect that in your bill try to bring it in your bill pass it as soon as possible i think that's what matters and all these girls are asking for some kind of amendments in law it's not enough to just arrest them and just be quiet about it these girls actually demand something more in terms of action so that there wouldn't be any more culprits who would actually go ahead and have this kind of an heinous crime to commit wouldn't you agree with me on that yes i would definitely agree because we've gone way past the time where you know we analyze statistics and we uh, analyze as to what could have been done to prevent we need to work on stringent laws and we need to make sure that uh, uh women are safe because when in the capital such heinous incidents can happen it can happen anywhere else in the country and it's not just that uh, shiv uh, many of these girls right. uh, especially after such kind of incidents are uh, skeptical about stepping into an auto rickshaw or stepping into the bus they they no longer feel safe would you uh, would you consider bangalore is safe now no according to me when it comes to auto rickshaws i am really i i feel i'm 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 in any kind of danger at any moment of time every time there's there's a uh, they ask for increase amounts and it's really irritating because they do not go by meters and not just that the rules which go they never follow it they absolutely really nobody really follows the rules and everybody is harassed okay. that is the uh, call of the art here and they want some action immediate action now well uh, at least until 6 o'clock we're going to keep our phone lines open here on headlines today that's the number you've got on your screens the question we're asking it's plain to see there on your screens does the speech giving the sound bite activism of several not all several members of parliament that you've seen today actually mean anything considering they don't really do very much else in parliament about rape until this was taken up by the media in such a big way ishwar is a caller he's on the phone line with us from kochi ishwar what do you think sir the, the situation is that you know it is very volatile situation that is happening but the police people or the government gov i mean the the people who do the governance they are not doing anything for the sake of the people or for the women yes. you see now just like that ambika soni committed herself that the police or the law in force is not active what's happening it is everybody can do anything with the power of politics with the power of money and with the power of many many things like that they can get away from all i mean accusations and they will be free everything this is a, this is happening all over india not in kochi not in kerala not in delhi or bombay or bangalore everywhere the same thing is going on and this has to be stopped for ever the people who are really i mean concerned for that they should take proper action and these well, that really is the problem the lack of proper action really is the problem ishwar thanks for calling from kochi vivek is our next caller he's calling from bangalore vivek what's on your mind vivek can you hear me yeah i can hear you go ahead what do you want to say uh i was just watching this program and i've been following up this case for the last 3 days uh, i have certain things and i really believe you should not hear this go ahead uh one i was seeing sushma suraj making statements about sonia gandhi should take action or no i don't think so this is the right thing that the mp should do with their stature I do believe that Sonia also should put in her, you know, her foot in and look into this matter as soon as possible and give, put some permanent action to this. More than this, law does require to change, and I do believe that all the parties, if they have so much of, you know, feelings towards yes. this issue, they should probably be together in passing a bill or an amendment to the law. And, and those I, are those, those, those are all suggestions that have been put out there. We know what you're saying. We agree with everything that you say.